Super excited to drive the, the 17 Ford GT. I have never driven one of these before. Rick was actually the one that I had asked when I was looking for my next hypercar and ended up buying the 918. I said, what is definitively the next best choice? And he mentioned 918 is probably the one and now it's at the top of my freaking list. So um, pretty, yes, pretty excited to drive that. So we've essentially got like, we'll call it old Ford. That thing's now 17 years old. Yeah. We have their replacement for this 2017 GT. And then we have probably the two pinnacle, I mean, I know they had the F50, they had the Enzo, but let's, I would say these are probably the two pinnacle kind of Ferraris um, of the 90s creation and of the, the 2010, 2020 Absolutely. era with the LaFerrari and then the Ferrari F40. All four of these cars are renowned for their driving experience, for sure. They're Absolutely. all amazing. Absolutely, so definitely four special cars here. We've got roughly, what, five, six, eh, seven million, seven plus million dollars worth of cars. I kind of want to take, I think the F40 is a good one to start with. And then do you want to take the laugh? Special pointers, you said clutch area is very small. I'm used to that with the Countach. Tight um, pedals. Tight uh, pedals. The clutch wants to kick back on you, so you need a little resistance for it to just kind of come back. Okay, uh, got other it. Other than that, it's a gated shifter. Beautiful. Nothing to it. I should be when good. When the turbos kick in, they'll be where, I mean, they, it's like a jet booster or That's whatever. That's amazing. You know? I am super pumped to drive the Ferrari F40. I have gone back and forth about I'm buying super one of these. Pumped. I think yes, you should. I be hope I hate it. The only the only downside There's about no way yes. that car is amazing. It's, it's seriously it's that good. It's, it's, it's been on my bucket list for a while. Yes. So. It's top three on my list, and I've now had it three months, so it's safe to say it's probably going to stay top yeah. three. Yeah. Um, the only complaint I have about this is probably the squirreliness. That could be a tire issue, but I think that's just LaFerrari. So um, it has a lot of power, and it will. I mean, you've driven these cars, you know how to handle them, but going around a corner, you you could lose it. Uh, but go have fun with it. We were uh, testing launch control earlier this week. <laughs> it's yeah. We we're testing launch control for a video and I, we got, it got really squirrely. Yes, it sure did. Thought I was gonna die briefly. Uh, do you wanna lead? I'll yeah, follow sure, you, this way you set sure. the pace. This way I know how, how, how hard I can go with the F40. I'm just gonna follow you and try to keep up. We made it. Oh, I see. Oh, that is a, yeah, you're not kidding. That is a strong spring. Oh my gosh. Oh no. No. <laughs> we made it about three feet. I was so gentle. That was unfortunate. All right, let's try that again. Oh my gosh, that's so sensitive. Cool. Initial thoughts, first minute are the clutch is very heavy and it is not as difficult as the Carrera GT, which was also owned by Rick, but I would say that it is close, close to difficulty. Let's try again now. All right, I already did better. I'm already figuring it out. Just gotta give it a little bit of. We did it. Give it a little bit. Of, I did it. You did it. Yay! Thanks, Dave. Ooh, I heard the turbo. Already. <laughs> Whoa, they kicked oh, in. That's so cool. Wow. I love the the subtle little wastegate. Yeah. It's just like a. That's, that sounds like a little. Um, Little baby girl ways what, what I would think like a laser gun would sound like from my yes. cartoon in the 60s. Yes. yes. That's so cool. You can't help but smile on this thing. Like this is just a really cool driving experience. Man, first uh, 30 seconds thumbs up. That's what she said. That would be the whole thing. That yep. would be the first 30 they seconds. They call me a half pump chump. Mm -hmm. Wow. This thing sounds Incredible. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really fun. I'm really excited to do some more poles or mini yeah. poles. It was yeah. actually way more fun than I remembered. I'm not it's gonna lie. It's way smoother than I thought it would be. When the boost kicked in on like first second after that pulling out onto 59, that was yeah, that was special. Gauges and 
and stuff like that. All right, Steve, let me know when you're ready to sell it. Good visibility, limited blind spots. I'd say visibility is better than the LaFerrari. This is super smooth though at 100 plus miles an hour. Super hot. <laughs> Sweating balls. It's not even a hot day out. It's no. 80 degrees. I, I can't believe how smooth it is. Yeah. Houston Cross to Edmund Mundy both said that I would never want to drive it. Um, but like this, this definitely feels di very differentiated from the Countach, right? Yeah. That's probably the closest car that I have to compare it to. I mean, I'm in fifth gear now. Low at 3,000 RPMs at 70. So probably not going to be the car that will get me above 200 miles an hour again. You have a couple of those. That's true. There's not much to it. No head unit, no radio. Yeah. Is that a functioning glove box? It's like, I don't think it is. There must be something behind it. Yeah. It's like screwed in. <laughs> it's like screwed in there. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And then occasionally you get some nice cold air in here. It's like it finds a pocket of cold air. I'm so surprised at how smooth this is. Very. I think if Rick's got three million bucks to spend the Bugatti, I, to me, are you getting a Bugatti or a LaFerrari? Depends who you're buying it for. I mean, your first hyper, period. You have no hypers, you want your first hyper. I'm getting the Bugatti It'd be first. a Bugatti, that's the name, yeah. Well, it's also comfortable. And the performance, yeah. <laughs> While performance and vibe are important, I just have to have air conditioning. I don't want to sweat my balls off in a car. And I drive my cars, but I don't want to be limited to driving them yeah, you know, two, three months out of the year. Wow. How did you open the handle? Did you just pull the wire? Yeah, the wire is the handle. What? Watch your head. Uh, I'm not oh, kidding. that oh, thing. Yes. Oh, you okay? I'm good, it didn't get me. I was wondering why I said to wash my head. I thought it was for the door, not for the belt. I'm not doing any more videos, car exchanges with you guys. <laughs> I hate you guys. It's ruining you. You like oh, that thing? Man, I'm loving it. Serious question, if you're buying your first hyper, what would you go back and buy? Oh my gosh, this is great. You got it. I'm not Just more gas. Yep, that's it. You did a great job. Wow. Did not stall it like I did the first time. <laughs> this is freaking clutch. Nice job. Oh, it's so hot in here. All right, send it, bro. Full send. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Just foot to the floor. I would have. The engine sounds amazing. That sounds like nothing I've ever been in. just like an extension of your body it really yeah. is impressive it's really a, an amazing driving experience I, I get it now why f40s are so popular that's a pretty awesome car dude uh, that, i was uh, really impressed that moved my needle a little bit more um when we were with uh, houston crosta he had mentioned how like you're not gonna like it it's like the countach but it's way more expensive he's like you're never gonna go drive it but i disagree like i think i drive my i don't drive yeah. my countach as much as the other stuff but i really enjoy it when i do drive it well i've and had both yeah, and oh, that's I right. You had the Countach. That's right. And I take this any day. Not not for looks. They both. Yeah. They got the equal look factor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, for drivability, I equal, take the F40. Equal but very different. The Countach is like loud, stupid. Where this is like smooth, sleek, and then it just has the huge wing. Without the wing, this is a totally different car. Right. S it's Steve and I. Oh yeah. Yeah. Steve and I were talking about the car. changes. We agree that I think this has more road presence than the LaFerrari does. I think the F40. I think so too. I think the F40s. Hmm. A louder so. car on the road. It just looks. Yeah. It's so unique. It's unmistakably an F40 with the wing, the way yep. the, the front slopes down. So what what's next then, LaFerrari or the Bugatti? You have pretty much everything else that I've. Oh, you, you got the Bugatti. It would be this. All right. Yeah. Nice. They're both pretty similar price. So when you're ready to sell, I guess special. <laughs> <laughs> We could work out a, like a trade through F40 and maybe another car. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievably well balanced though. The yes. weight, yep. it's, and that's why the seats, I said it in a previous vlog, but I thought that the seats didn't roll forward uh, for weight savings. It's actually to get the center of gravity yep. lower yeah. on the car. Well, that's the same deal in the Ford GT. Yeah. Oh, you gotta bring the pedals to you. Do you wonder if they steal some cues just to, to tie the cars together or no? I, they may, Who they knows? may. I actually Who don't knows? know. It wouldn't be a bad idea though. Although ah, I had this parked right next to a Aventador mm -hmm. and they stole a lot of cues I think from the Aventador too. Yeah, really? The big, the big freaking vent in the back. Yeah, with the big mm -hmm. air intake. And Very cool. Well, you ready to uh, swap again? Alrighty. Beautiful. So <laughs> far so good. He also has 05GT. So far oh, so good. Oh, he wants to do the Senna. Rick already has an 05. Yours is 06 or an 05? 06. 
cool. Same, same. Same difference. Rick's already got an 06 GT. He's also got a really cool poster or some literature on his wall that shows the full production dates of all the, the VINs oh, of the book. Ford. Ah, uh, book, that's yeah. what it was. Um, he already has the GT, so no real need to go have him drive mine. He wants to take my Senna and said he's never driven cars. a Senna. Yes, I, I don't think the Senna's gonna ruin you. I don't think I that one will. I don't I'm ruined think so. enough today. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. All right, cool. Um, so there's no nothing to it. It's got the dial oh, yes. for the in the center console for the dude, drive and all dude, that. These seats look great, man. Yeah. This is just such this, a. This, this is a whole different driving this experience. This is such a great spec. Great, yes. Yeah. I'm glad I started with the F40. Like you got to start raw, yeah. hot, tough, yeah. and then and then ease yeah. into this. All right. So shift, paddle shift, one. Oh, no paddle shift. It's got this thing. Oh my, breaky, grabby brakies. Grabby brakey. I'm instantly noticing incredibly heavy steering. I, I, I do not want to drive this thing in race mode. Whoa. The steering oh. is so, feel how heavy the steering is. Oh, Isn't that I, I love so that. heavy? I love that. Not I. That's cool. I do like the simplicity of the shifter because every hyper and supercar, so especially when you're training people, like the 918 is, is by far the most complex, right? Turn the key, spin the dial, turn off the parking brake and shift. There's four things you have to do. Wow. Your right steering is definitely not nearly as heavy once you get moving. I can't stand blinkers on the steering wheel. I, I love that you hate that because I, I just can't I stand think it. it's cool. First impressions of the highway. I really love the sound. This it feels amazing. This feels nothing like the 0506 GT. No, at all. This is night and day difference. You could put me in this car blindfolded and I would think that it's a McLaren or Ferrari, but I would, yes. I would never say that it was a Ford. Agreed. Honestly, compared to everything else, it feels kind of slow. I would say definitely underwhelming. Like my first three minute uh, impression is no, there, I would not buy one of these. This feels like a, reminds me of the Corvette. Would I pay 450 for this? Knowing that that's like, like knowing I was gonna sell it in two years and it'd still be just worth that? Probably not, no, no way. Would I have paid 450 for it knowing it was gonna be worth over a million? One, yes, yeah. obviously. Yeah. All right, that was better. It feels like something of mine. I just can't pin what it is. Like this feels like Ford's answer to the Corvette. Yeah. It doesn't feel like Ford's answer to a lot of Ferrari. Yeah, or what came out in seven? Well, not even, because it's not the same price. This one. You're right. The Ferrari counterpart would have been probably the F80, the 488 GTB, yeah. right? Yeah. The Senna and this are great ones to compare at the end of the day, because they're about the same price, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, of the Hypers, that's the only one that that is around this level. That's the one, one to 1 to 1.2. Yeah. I'm taking a Senna all day long over this. Me too. I think I would take an 05, 06 GT over this. Yeah, me too. I think this is a more special driving experience. Me too. I don't know if you would agree, but I, I don't think you're gonna believe this, but I would actually take the old Ford GT over this. That's what I told you. Did you? I enjoy it. driving I the old oh, one you did. Yes. more than this. Yeah, I would I would buy. It's more exciting, right? Yes, this one, it's it's really comfy. It looks amazing. It's kind of slow. Yeah. I think it is. Really? Relative. I it's, felt it's like it was. Just... Yeah, it's, it's hypercar price, but it's kind of supercar performance. It still looks amazing. Brakes are crazy, by the way. Yeah. Like shot, like he did the yeah. same thing I did. Where you like, you're like, oh, that first time you break. But yes, I, I would. I'm taking the La Ferrari over the F40. I would take the 0506 over this one. I think. Do you do you have a YouTube channel or uh, Instagram? Do you want to plug anything for your personal? Do you want to plug your I do. Instagram? It's, uh, R, RLS, I think dot collection. Tell us. That's easy. I, well, I'm trying to remember what it is. Oh. I think it's RLS dot collection. Go check out his Instagram. He has an amazing collection. Rick's a homie. Thank you again. I appreciate Absolutely. you, man. No, thank you, you so much for thank thank you for letting me drive these. Yeah, I had so, so much fun. Thank you. I enjoyed it too. Yeah. So. You too, man. Like, sure. comment, and subscribe, folks. <laughs>